In the full-size utility space, body on frame, capable of towing and going off-road, the General Motors full-size SUVs have the lion's share of the market. And one of the main reasons is Ford has left this Expedition really to flounder for about 20 years. Well, here we have a brand new Expedition. And what are they doing? They're building it off the F-150 platform. And yes, this vehicle is made with aluminum as well. Everything that's metal and painted on the outside is made of aluminum. That benefits fits with making the vehicle lighter and they say more capable. One big difference between the F-150 and the Expedition, this has independent rear suspension and the ability to have adaptive suspension to give you a very luxurious ride. It's capable as well. Ford claims it's the most capable full-size body-on-frame truck out there with a 3.5-liter EcoBoost engine capable of 400 horsepower and towing up to 9,300 pounds. So Expedition, you can see the Ford DNA on the outside, very truck-like, I think pretty handsome. Now one thing I think they're copying General Motors with is that crease, that body line, that belt line down the side is very reminiscent of uh, Suburban and Tahoe. So inside is everything you come to expect from a luxury SUV. They say it's the most capable. We'll take it on road and off road. The Expedition is sold with a shorter wheelbase model or the longer Max versions, offering more interior space. All models sold in Canada will be equipped with all-wheel drive. The interior features an 8-inch SYNC 3 system and wireless conductive charging for front passengers. The center of the instrument cluster is customizable. On the Platinum models, the interior is very luxurious. The rear seats are very roomy because this Expedition uses an independent rear suspension, and the third row has more room side to side. The Platinum comes with available 22-inch wheels plus adaptive suspension. This along with the standard terrain management system on all Expeditions. So I'm with Andrew Monticello. Cool name. Thank you. What do you do at Ford? I'm a driveline calibration and attributes engineer. Well, you're the right guy to have on this. I so, hope so. Dr driveline engineer. I was talking with you last night about all the different ways that you isolate the body, and and yep. and and yesterday when I was driving it, I didn't have the camera with me. On road, mm -hmm. um, I couldn't believe that this doesn't have an air suspension. I was driving the Platinum. Yeah. So, so with the Max, you get a slightly longer wheelbase, right? Yes. Yep. And then you've got what? That that you've got an adaptive suspension. We call it our continuously controlled dampers. Okay. Now I I couldn't believe it. I I said to you last night. It reminded me of a Mercedes GLS, which has air suspension. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it, how nice it was to drive. Yeah, it's a really All nice right. truck. This is an FX4. So the major things you get with that, better cooling up front, skate plates underneath to protect everything. Uh, we've got these unique running boards and unique wheels. Um, the big thing that we're really happy about is the new electronic limited slip differential in the rear. But that's not just to FX4. You get it on FX4 and the heavy duty trailer tow package. Okay. So the engine is yeah. is um, 375 horsepower, right? Yep. But you can go up to 400 horsepower with the platinum. With the model. platinum, but you need premium gas. You need premium gas. So That's if you don't put premium in, it reverts to 375, pretty much. Yes. Okay. So this is gonna be a real big plateau. So there's no worry about going off an edge. Ah! Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah. But sky. Oh wow, look at that. So I said, this is gonna be your best view of the day. Okay, let me just take a picture. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I like? Wireless conductive charging. I see you're an Android guy too. I am an Android you guy. You know, it's nice to see engineers actually go for Android. <laughs> yeah. Is that common? Um, I think it's about 50-50. Yeah, there you go. They're smart ones. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? We're going so, down the big hill now. Yep, so we're gonna turn the hill to set control on. Let me just get lined up here. Okay, so does it, now, does it, um, Say some brands have a low speed cruise control, right? Mm -hmm. And is that what this has too? Kind of, is that what, could you call it that? Yeah, you could if you wanted to. Um, so, what it's going to do, it's going to regulate your speed going down the descent. Um, and so, we can adjust it by basic throttle and braking okay, puts. Right. And, and wherever you stop, that's what your set, new set speed is going to be. Okay, okay. Now, independent rear suspension in an off road application is better. Depends what you're doing. Right. Uh, so you don't get the articulation that you would with a solid axle. Mm -hmm. That's just going to be inherent. Uh, where you do get the advantage would be over like some whoops or what we call a chatterboard, mm -hmm. um, where it's kind of like these these fine um, rifts in either the like the washboard, sand or washboard, washboard, yeah. washboard. Right. So how much lighter is this truck? Do you know than the previous model? Uh, it's just under 300 pounds. 
Which uh, you would overall. think it would be substantially more because it's an aluminum truck. So what we've done is we've taken a lot of those weight savings and invested them in other places. So the thing that's near and dear to my heart is the new electronic limited slip differential. Um, that's a little more weight, but we're also able to invest in things like sound packaging. Uh, so more insulation and all the advanced safety features that yeah. add weight as well. Right? And, and all the content that you see in the vehicle. Yeah. We have a ton of standard content. So if you were going to uh, uh, order one of these, you get you get the uh, employee discount, of course. Yep. Which one would you choose? Oh, or have you got one on order? That's a tough one. I don't have one on order. Um, so um, wh which truck would you get? Oh, that's a tough one. You're, you're putting me in a hard spot here. Um, the, you want to make it real, really yeah. So I, I have a sports car at home. Uh, so that's part of my thing. I also have an off-road truck at home. Um, I'd probably go for the FX4 package. Um, if you were to ask my wife, she'd probably go for the Platinum. Yeah, and you know who's <laughs> going to win that battle. Hey, yeah, that's yeah, why. Hey, you've got a you've got a <laughs> sports car and you've got an off-road truck. She's getting the Platinum. Let's yeah. just call it what it is. <laughs> so what's the sports car? Uh, I have a 2012 Boss 302. Oh, was that last year? No, 12. No, but was it last year for the Boss 302? Uh, they did it in 12 and 13. Yeah, so what color is it? It's the Kona Blue with the white. Oh, yeah. yeah I love that. It's a sharp car. Yeah. Do body on frame owners tow more? Uh, obviously, we, that would be a number one reason to buy one. You yeah. got a you got a horse trailer or a boat or yeah, a camper. We, we see a very large number of people who tow. So this one's ninety three hundred uh, pounds now, right? So with the two wheel drive, you're up at ninety three hundred pounds. Um, so we don't get that in Canada. We just get all wheel drive, four wheel drive. With that, you only lose hundred pounds of towing. Oh, okay. At ninety two hundred. I like that two hundred thousand dollar Airstream you have there, and whatever that <laughs> thing costs. Yeah. You could trade in your sports car, your off-road truck, and one of these, and you could buy an Airstream. Yeah, you have to live in it. <laughs> okay, so the GM trucks have a massive market share. Yes. Right. Yep. They just are so far ahead. Yeah. So you guys threw everything at this. Yeah, we did. To, I mean, it's been 20 years basically. You've done some modest update upgrades through the year. Yeah. But this is the first all new. This is all new in 20 years. So the goal was to we can do what they can do and we can do it better. Was that yeah. basically the, the we, mantra? We want to basically make sure there's no reason to ever buy a GM. <laughs> Isn't that with everything you make? It's <laughs> yeah, a really sharp right turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's the Ford board meeting. Let's make some tr vehicles so they make them buy a GM. I don't no, think that ever comes if up. If we look at all the, the measurable The Y buys, right? Yeah. Towing's better. Uh, power is phenomenal. We're doing the 10 speed in, in that application before they are. Um, we certainly think the design is great. And, the, um, and we should point out that the 10 speed is a co-development with them, right? Yeah. So where that differs, um, the biggest part of where it differs is what makes things unique. So it's the software and the calibration. Right. It's how you take the package and run away and do with it what yep. you want, right? A really, really dedicated team um, just across the board. Well, it makes sense. Yeah. What, what do you sell more of? Trucks. Yeah. What's the biggest profit margin? Trucks. Yeah. Well, and everyone said, and we all realized, this is all new. We, we can't have a, a flub. And you, and you have no excuses when it's all new. It's not like yeah. you're trying to you know, take a round peg into a square hole. You, you've, yep. you've got no excuses, right? Yeah. And so did you work on uh, Navigator? I, I do work on Navigator as well. So I'm getting to drive that in January. So what can you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> it's top secret? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a different breed. Um, it's not supposed to be Expedition. Expedition, even Platinum, is not supposed to be the Navigator. Well, if I, I, I was so impressed with that Platinum. I, I, I'm really going to be interested to see what happens with with the Lincoln. So Andrew, thanks for your time. Yeah, uh, Great to have someone with your level of knowledge riding along. And uh, well done on this truck. Thank you, it was a pleasure. So in the Canadian marketplace, this truck starts at roughly $60,000. Now all of them are all wheel drive or four wheel drive in Canada, no four by two for us. And goes all the way up to basically $84,000 if you uh, get the Platinum. And the Platinum does obviously get you more horsepower, 400 horsepower when you equip it with premium fuel. Now there still is a premium version of this to come from the Lincoln brand. That's going to be the Navigator and that's coming out in January. So yes, General Motors has had the lion's share of the market with the full-size body on frame trucks, but Ford is coming at them.